When looking at the, uh, at the PwC Chair in Digital Economy, uh, really the key priorities in our mind around devoting a level of leadership into the market, innovation specifically in response to the mega trend around technology change. Uh, and that for us is leadership beyond just research, but really applying that research to what businesses and the government can do to really transform the Australian economy. As the Queensland Minister for Science and Innovation, I am incredibly proud to be here to talk about um, the Chair of Digital Economy. The ability to bring together uh, business and academia and government in this particular way gives us all of the scope to be able to prepare for what is on in, in the future for us. Uh, to ensure that our businesses are ready, to ensure that our young people are ready, and to ensure that our institutes like the amazing QUT um, have got the right programs, um, that we're teaching the right skills for what we need for the future. From the audit that we did, that only about 30% of businesses were either selling their products or, or services online. And over the next five years, we want to double that. We want to make sure that we continue to grow the digital economy in Brisbane. It's all about having a digital strategy and it, we know through the research that SMEs, if they have that digital strategy, uh, they're more likely to innovate, they're more likely to export uh, and that's a very tangible benefit not only for that business but for the whole city because we can uh, grow growth and create jobs. And so that role will really add focus uh, and bringing together the various parties to make sure that we undertake this transformation at a faster pace. Industry will be able to be ahead of the curve. They'll be able to tap into what's coming next instead of constantly feeling like they're catching up. And um, from a wider city and state perspective, we can be providing the policy and the leadership guidance that's needed. Because the challenges in the digital economy are not just challenges related to business and ICT. And it's exciting to work on topics that are not just real world, but they're contemporary, they matter to organisations, and this will unlock research with impact. Looking at research around the digital economy means that we need to bring together people from a range of disciplinary perspectives. You know, a person who might focus on human resource management needs to also understand that in light of a digital firm or a digital native firm. So you start to bring together people from a range of places with different ideas and you get much better solutions. We're already seeing that collaboration come to life. Uh, Queensland's a great example of it. In fact, Queensland government and startups connecting together over long-standing problems within, uh, within government and society to come up with unique ways of solving those problems. Tackling issues with the diversity of you know, indigenous cardiovascular uh, health through to uh, the sharing of information uh, within um, you know, crisis environmental conditions uh, across various departments and agencies. We are absolutely committed to finding out where the new economies are, um, to uh, creating opportunities for innovation so that we can uh, see these things through new filters. That means making sure that our businesses are equipped with the skills that they need uh, to play at this digital level and also uh, the council and government are uh, using uh, digital uh, technology as well uh, to improve interaction with their citizens and that's something that the council has focused a lot on. We believe a digital mind is essential to see the threats but also the opportunities that the current world offers. A digital mind, and I like to highlight this, is technology agnostic. This is not about how 3D printing works right now or what a robot can do. These are constructs that are hopefully long-lasting because it's our obligation to equip our students no matter what the technology looks like in the future, with a certain mindset that allows them to quantify and qualify emerging technology trends. Brisbane's long been known as a livable city. And what we're already seeing now with entrepreneurs, with small business owners, is it's also a fantastic place to do business. The digital economy, though, now enables those entrepreneurs and those small businesses to run those businesses at scale, to expand globally using digital platforms. The chair in digital economy, therefore, is going to accelerate that process, enabling us to be and to actualise the new world city that we're already becoming.